It's Columbus Day weekend, so I thought I would vlog. Today is Saturday morning, and I'm wearing um, like workout clothes because I'm going to go out and do some weeding. I need to pick out some socks. Um, and no, none of these are matched, so it always takes me forever. And I'm thinking about matching them up one of these days. But anyway, um, I don't care. I'm just, I just need something. And I'm gonna go do that. And then we have a guy coming to do an estimate on our bathroom remodel. We're not remodeling the whole master bath, but we are doing some of it. So we're having another guy come out to do an estimate. I just thought I would weed a little bit before he gets here and then I'll hop in the shower. Say good morning, Sadie. Oh, who wants a belly rub? Who wants a belly rub? She likes to sit and be the lookout on the top of the stairs. Especially when one of us is upstairs and one of us is downstairs, which is the case right now. But first, some special K for breakfast. So I probably should have shown you the before. I finished weeding and then I decided to pick the rest of the carrots in the garden. And we've got quite an interesting set of shapes and sizes. Um, a lot of the really large ones broke off when I pulled them out. The biggest ones I actually had to dig out with a trowel and they still broke off. Um, they had huge, huge green leaves all over, like the, I don't know what you call them, the stalks? I don't know. The, the green part was huge, tall, so I waited way too long to pick these. I never thinned them out as I talked about in another vlog, so that's why they're really long and skinny instead of kind of properly shaped, but, um, and that's why they're all bendy too. But yeah, so they're still edible, um, and, and this is a true baby carrot right there. And then, you know, just some scrubbing and they're fine. So, um, I guess these will be snacks for a while. Hey, so we're here at Lake Ann Brew House. Is that what the name? Or brewery? I always get that wrong. I think it's Brew House. Um, and we're having a beer. We're having... I'm having the concrete blonde and Chris is having the choke. done a flight before too. But I'm thinking I might get like this curl telling me. Or maybe some Thai food. <laughs> there's like two, there's a Greek place and a Thai place that are happy to deliver here, so that's really nice. So I'm terrible. I completely forgot to show you this when we first got it. We got our food and it was delicious. I don't know if I showed that either. I don't think I did. <laughs> I got the grilled halloumi which came with pita and cucumber and tomato and Chris got chicken tenders and fries. But anyway, this is the Celtic Mount which is like the whole reason we came here and it was huge and amazing and fresh out of the oven. This is me eating. What's up? I'm eating a fry. It's not the fry. <laughs> so eating a fry. <laughs> But we did stop in and um, into Chesapeake Chocolates, which is that clip you will have just seen. And they had so many kinds of different looks like chocolates and truffles. And so I, we just kind of looked at everything and said one of everything. One, I mean, one of everything that we were interested in. So we got um, a little less than a half pound. So I'm really excited to try these. And now we're going to go to the grocery store and get some ingredients for what I'm making tonight, which is enchiladas. Why are you laughing? I'm just laying on your elbow. <laughs> so 
<laughs> um, I don't think I explained the pretzel situation. Chris basically wanted to go to Lake Ann Brewery just for the Nordic Knot pretzel. And I think I might have called it a Celtic Knot pretzel when we were in there. It's Nordic Knot. I just get confused about the name. Um, so we did. We got a fresh one right out of the oven, which was amazing. When we first got there, they didn't have any. Um, so we ordered some food from a local restaurant and then waited for the pretzel. <laughs> so I think Chris was more excited about that than he was about the beer. But the beer was good too. And like I said, now we're headed to the grocery store. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday and I'm headed to coffee with my friend and neighbor. Um, and it's I'm just wearing a J. Crew like terry cloth lightweight sweatshirt and yoga pants because my mom and I are going to go get a pedicure later. And I always wear yoga pants when I get a pedicure. Um, I totally forgot to vlog, like basically all day. I just got done planting some hydrangeas in the backyard <laughs> that my mom gave me at our nail appointment because um, I asked her for some. And I got my toes done. That's all I got in case you're interested. It's kind of a red orange. Anyway, super hot. It's like 80 degrees and I'm gross from being outside planting and stuff. So I'm going to get in the shower and then I'm going to make enchiladas for dinner. These are the gorgeous hydrangeas in a beautiful milk glass vase that my mom brought um, to the salon. And this is what I've planted outside, but they don't look anything like this right now. <laughs> okay, here they are, the enchiladas. I didn't really show you the process, but um, here's the finished result. They are extremely hot. They actually do the cheese last and then it melts. It's already starting to melt. Um, the enchilada sauce and the cheese go on last. But yeah, first time making anything like this. This is actually like a family recipe. I have no idea if it's any good, but we're about to find out. Good morning, it's Monday, it's Columbus Day, and um, Chris is filming me because I'm driving, but we are headed to Clifton Cafe, which is one of our favorite little breakfast or lunch places. Um, it's kind of brunch time now, and we're gonna have a bite there. Uh, it's in downtown Clifton, and then uh, they have crepes. That's like their main. That's the main reason we go. If you've watched my vlogs, you've probably seen us go there a few times. Um, and then we're gonna head to Woodlawn Plantation, which is kind of near Mount Vernon, and it's um, a historic site. Um, I'm calling it like the sister location to Mount Vernon, even though I don't think they say that. But it's basically like. So Mount Vernon was George Washington's home. Woodlawn, I think, is his granddaughter's home? Nellie Custis? I think that's his granddaughter or niece. I'm actually not sure. Um, anyway, we've never been, and so we thought we'd do a little outing on Columbus Day and just kind of have a nice little afternoon. <laughs> Yours is like the same as mine, right? But with dates, spinach, feta. Oh, this is chicken. This is just spinach and feta. It's called Julie's Fetish, which is appropriate. Yeah, it's like apple, caramel, salmon, pumpkin, carrot, maybe. Probably. people's houses. <laughs> oh, that's my hand. Hey guys, we had oh, going up a hill. We had a delicious lunch at Clifton Cafe. I tried to show you kind of what we were. Are you, are you showing me or the just? Oh. The hell. <laughs> um, I tried to show you what we were eating, but basically we each got a savory crepe and then we shared a sweet crepe and they were so good. We had never had that sweet one before. It's from their seasonal menu. It was called Mike's Pump Pumpkin Patch, I think. And it was like pumpkin puree with cinnamon and um, apples and caramel. And it was really, really good. So now I'm just taking a different scenic route through Clifton. Not that the way in wasn't scenic, but I've never been this way um, because now we're headed towards Woodlawn. So we have to go in a different direction. Okay, so here we are. We have to figure out where to buy tickets. We're walking kind of quickly because we want to make the two o'clock tour if we can, because otherwise we have to wait an hour. 
Um, and there's not that much else to do, so I'd rather, ooh, let's walk through spider web. Rather not wait. Where do we buy tickets though? This is technique in all of them, because not only did they let the light in and they were pretty, technically what you would do for the air conditioning would be to get up on a big ladder and open. That one you moved? They was originally, all the furniture is original to the house, except no. so uh, Mr. Pope added uh, a little flip up thing mm -hmm. here and just walk right back in there. I promise it's not a closet. It looks like you're going in a closet, but just go straight down because I want you to feel like you're going down. It used to be that green thing. That's better. Well, I guess where we came in is is the is what would be the carport. It's very pretty. So I tried to get a couple clips at the Frank Lloyd Wright house. Um, it's one of the lesser known Frank Lloyd Wright properties that you can tour. It, it was built in the 40s and it was for kind of just a modest. Um, middle-class family and it's really cool I tried to get a little bit inside she you know she said we could do that but um, I didn't want to get in people's faces so now we're outside Woodlawn and we're gonna go tour that we were just gonna do Woodlawn but we decided to do both while we were here the properties are kind of together on like a national historic trust site I don't know if I'm saying that right so it was actually Washington's nephew I always thought Nellie was his niece but I guess not. Oh, Mary Wa Martha Washington's granddaughter. Oh, so it was both a granddaughter and a niece and nephew. Because they were closely related, I guess. So I wasn't wrong. It's getting hot out. to 1805 and what was original to it was the central square block right here and then your two square buildings all the way on hey guys happy friday i didn't really finish the columbus day weekend vlog so i thought maybe i'd record a little bit this weekend too and maybe combine them all i don't know how this is going to turn out but i'm in my bedroom right now about to go to the grocery store this is what i have on these are my cds um for j crew like plaid sneakers and there's actually, there's peas and pods on my socks, but you can't really see. Um, boyfriend jeans by J. Crew, and then this cream and gray sweatshirt is from Old Navy. So I'm just going to the grocery store, and I'm going to make carrot soup tonight. Okay, I'm back. I picked up a bag of Halloween candy. Um, we get like 60 or 70 kids every year for Halloween, so this should be plenty if we give each kid two pieces and uh, we are almost completely out of bar soap so i picked up this dove um with shea butter and warm vanilla scent and this one with coconut milk and jasmine petal scent for a shower and then um, a bag of carrots for the soup parsley and ginger also all this is for the soup but the parsley is going to come up in another recipe if I make it before the parsley goes bad. Um, so, pretty small little trip. Oh yeah, and a big bottle of white vinegar, which I left in the mudroom because we use it for cleaning. I was spying on them. Anyway. So I'm making this carrot soup recipe from Eat Beautiful uh, in the autumn section and it just has carrots, ginger, garlic, um, I don't like onion so I use onion powder when it calls for onion, um, ginger I already said that, cumin, oh and it'll top me top with parsley and stuff at the end but um, right now everything's just cooking and then I'll use an immersion blender and blend it up and then we'll be ready to eat. Okay, here's the finished product. We haven't tried it yet. Not sure how good it will be. It's definitely very thick, kind of like a carrot puree. So we tried it and it's not good uh, at all. It's basically inedible. 
<laughs> which is funny because I doubled the recipe thinking we would want leftovers if I'm going to all the trouble of making soup why not have extra yeah it's so bad it's like it's like uh, bitter and I don't know if that's the carrots or the ginger or the fact that there's like not much in there and it's just not good